it's not pretty good smooth but it's just the purpose is to explain that anyway go ahead and let's see a cloth modifier I just made simple example okay select the cloth and export the file even if uh, in unity 3.0 uh, a cloth simulator has been added I think and but it's it's pretty interesting to export uh, for example a character with cloth directly from 3ds max hit yes hit ok so as I said uh, you can animate your character from 3ds max with the cloth and export everything at the same time anyway go to unity 3d and update the scene let me check where it is that's it if I hit play you can see that object is animated as well as well the cloth modifier okay let's carry on and check now the skin modifier as you can see here I have editable poly plus skin modifier plus turbo smooth and I add as well the gizmos as you can see here I use some gizmos we can check them here the gizmos the bagel the bulge angle deformer anyway I'm not pretty good in skinning but that's it the example so as you can see I add gizmo to the elbow here and another one to the muscles of the biceps here the, the arm okay so let's select this arm and export it by the same way I forgot to put some to reduce the step here because actually when the step is one it takes a long time maybe the next example I will do it if I will remember don't worry guys you must be patient okay yes okay okay go to unity update and that's it let's check and you can see that both the scan modifier and the gizmo are working here okay uh, now the last one is the space warp and as you can see here I have a editable poly that contains some polygons and the volume select selection and I add a ripple bending here and as well I have what is it uh, the ripple object that is linked to the, the the editable poly so when I hit play you can see that the object is animated I will do it by the same way just go to the script export file okay hit yes and hit OK and as usually I forgot to reduce the steps anyway here unity update and that's it if I hit play you can see that the object is animated as well okay guys hope uh, you appreciate this and by the way we'll just explain that I asked unity 3d team via the forum that I will create this plugin and I will offer it for free for everyone if they would uh, provide me a professional license of the Unity 3, the last version. 
I wait for their answer. If they will do, for course you will, all of you take this script for free. But if they won't, I will actually try to sell it via internet or something. And in one or two months, if I will not succeed, success, I will probably share it for for everyone. So just be patient, guys. Uh, anyway, the last explication is the use case on track. So let's open the first example, which is the band. And as you can see here, I have some keys. So I will check use case on track, and I will add track. I will get track the the track view pick, and it will just only have the animated track. So I will just use one of them. So the angle here, and as you can see, it displays me how many keys I have and when. So now, when I hit export file, it is exported. Hit yes, hit OK, hit OK. Now, if I go to Unity, let's update, and I go, for example, to the animation window. Where is it? That's it. And I select one of my points coming from 3ds Max, you can see that actually here I have the same frames as it was in the track that I selected in 3ds Max, so it's pretty interesting it can uh, reduce the number of keys which allow you to have smoother, uh, more smooth game okay that's it thanks guy and bye bye Top.